significant manufacturing and marketing company, Gulf Oil reported a sequentially flat Q3 performance. Revenues, meanwhile, touched a record 600 crore rupees. Volume sold grew 9% both sequentially and via Y to 36 million litres. Raw material costs jumped 16% over Q2 on a higher base oil cost. The company also declared share buyback at 600 rupees per share with the total amount of 85 crores, a 26% jump above the closing price on 9th of February. Let's take a closer look into the company's performance in the quarter gone by. Revenue grew 12.8% sequentially as realizations were up 3.4% to 167.2 rupees per litre. The company reported an EBITDA of 77 crores which was flat over Q2 of FY22. Margins came in at 12.8%. Uh, 168 basis points below the previous quarter as OPEX was up 15% over the same period. PATH stood at 58.6 crores flat over Q2 and 8.8% below Q3 of FY21 while PAT margins came in at 9.7%, 126 basis points below Q2. Oil lubricant companies' shares underperformed the broader market in the last few months as India's EV story picked up. It drove the fear that lubricant companies could be on the losing side. Lubricant businesses, if you look at it, have multiple client sectors and therefore exposure to the personal mobility segment determines only the risk volumes. Currently, EV sales are barely a percent of the total new two-wheelers sold, which is much less than in the passenger car segment. Gulf Oil's exposure to the mobility segment is limited to around 20-22%, of which around 18% is bikes and the rest is passenger cars. Gulf oil volume is well diversified into industrial, diesel oil, personal mobility and other segments which include gear oil, coolants, brake fluids, etc. This helps the company to balance the volume uptake even if one segment is not doing very good. Gulf oil has exposure to the EV ecosystem as well. The company has multiple interaction points to the potentially rising EV driven demand. Gulf Oil has a product lineup of EV fluids and acquired two new EV technology companies. These include UK based home EV charging technology company Indra Renewable and Electrical FI, an EV charging software solution provider. Value addition of these acquisitions for the company will emerge going ahead. Nonetheless, it provides comfort that the company is proactive as the underlying automobile industry evolves. Not just this, Gulf Oil has adjacent businesses that add value. The company has a battery business where it sells two-wheeler batteries in the replacement or retail market. This business has been doing around 20 crores per quarter sales till the first half of FY22 and generated a revenue of 13 crores in Q3 due to supply-side concerns. The battery business is a bit positive and once the transition to localized manufacturing of the product should be able to regain the previous revenue run rate. With a large distribution network, Gulf Oil should be able to continue to generate 4-5% to of the group revenue from the battery business alone. If we look at the risks, then the cost of raw material is definitely a concern. Base oil prices have risen sharply since last year and they do get impacted by the overall crude oil, which itself is in a major bull cycle and may affect the margins. Looking at the valuation at the current market price, Gulf Oil trades at FY23 PE of 9.4x, which is attractive. Investors therefore are recommended to buy the stock with a medium to long term view.